All right, everybody is still recuperating from that last battle. We're going to have Joe run down and pick up Moo. Still only have three beds, but he can lie her up here on the top. Lay her down here. Set her down, I suppose. Let's look at the status. All right, we need Swift to come out of that coma so she can come harvest the rest of this. We have 45. We're already at extra large, which means it's time to build. Well, let's see if we have any to sell, any grog. Nope, almost. I think we need to build another farm plot, and we will have two, and that should give us enough wheat straw to make grog on a consistent basis. Swift popped out of her coma and automatically came down and started farming. She has 37 hours left to get 29 plants, so she will accomplish that. Well, I don't know if she's going to get 29 plants, but she will at least be able to complete the harvest before time expires. <clears throat> All right, let's look at our food situation. We've got one piece of food left, which means Joe is going to run into town. Ideally, he would have something else to sell. Perhaps more grog. He got really beat up, though. That stomach and right leg. All right, Swift. Almost done. Eight more plants. Seven. We're full on water. She'll, she may move three water barrels over to the farm. And then that'll mean she'll head to the well and draw some more water. Let's see what she does. Oh, no. She's going to make grog. That's good. Now, how much do we need to build a large farm from scratch? An extra large wheat farm. We need 60. We currently have 65. I think I'm going to do it. That's really going to hamper us, but I'm going to do it. Large wheat farm. Try to get this as close as possible. Right there. Now, Joe is going to have to get up and come down to build that. Now, in the meantime, we want to have Swift stop doing that. Because we need all 60. Joe, come on. Swift can lie down now while Joe is up. Let him build that plot of farmland. Then we'll have two extra large plots of wheat. And that should give us enough wheat straw to finally generate a little bit of cats so that we can start purchasing stuff. We also need to purchase skill books, more skill books, I should say. Was Moo doing the research? Or was it Swift? It was Swift. Boy, Swift is an all-arounder right now. That's okay. I won't, I don't, we're not going to worry about exactly who's doing what we will spread out eventually if we get more people uh, and we will build a proper outpost at some point down the line once we can defend it right now as you can see we cannot really defend even this little farm so we don't want to build anything larger and I also tend to in the early stages I don't use any kind of walls around my farm because this is not meant to be an outpost or a stronghold. All right, now Swift, we will add this farm and then we'll move it to the just under the other farm so that the farms come first. And Griffin is healed properly. We have a Moo lie down. Is this just a drifter? Oh, that's a skeleton. Boy, if the Holy Nation sees him, they will attack him. They don't like skeletons. Uh, not, not even, 
even people with prosthetic limbs, they, they generally will attack you on sight. <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. Swift, can we get some grog? Alright, the well is out of water. You can see she moved all the barrels of water to this new farm. So once she runs out of wheat straw, she'll start up. There she goes. She started on the well. I'm going to have to draw up 10 more barrels of water there. Did we make at least one grog? Yes, one grog and almost got to two. Well, that's 1,100 cats. 11.55. Joe, go ahead and heal that leg up all the way, or that stomach. Griffin is healed. Swift and Bataille. Bataille, lay down again. Moo is completely healed. She can get up. I want Swift to come lie down. Okay, Joe. Let's go down. Well, first, let's get everything here that we can sell, which is just these clubs. I need to remember to get another fabric if I can. We'll get this one grog, and we'll make sure that no one else has anything to sell. And they do not, but we need to... Griffin's got a food cube, but that's the only, only other food is this one... It's already gone. They've already ate it. So we need to get more food and at least one and one fabric. We just need one fabric. And this is the first time since I started the game. I've been to the city, so it take a moment there to load. We'll run in here. Let's sell what we have, the little bit we have. And the Grog indeed will sell for twelve thirty-four. Even better. Alright, now, food. Well let's run over here and see if we can get any fabric first. I'm gonna try this location. One piece of fabric, I'll take it. Anything else here that I think we need? No. And we'll go over to this bar to buy some food. All right, we're gonna we're gonna buy all seven of these food cubes. It's gonna be a lot of money, about five thousand cats, in fact. But it'll be worth it. And we're gonna buy all of these while we have the money. Okay, now we're broke again. That's fine. What do we got going on here? Bandits. <clears throat> I'm not even going to try to loot them because I don't want to fight the the paladins will be trying to take them in. I don't want to have to spend the time trying to run to each one before a paladin picks them up. There'll be something else out here we can loot. Okay, let's put the food in here so that anyone needs to eat can eat. Now, normally there is a there is a container for food, which I'm going to build right now. Interior, uh, I'm sorry, storage. What is it called? Food store. Okay, let's put the food store. Which is where you store your food, not not the store where you go and buy food from, for example. For now, we're going to put it right there. And it takes one building material, which I don't have. I don't think we have any in storage. Oh, we do? Okay. All right, Joe, go build that food store. And that's where we're going to put our food. Now, now that we have that food store, 
this, when those bandits come and raid us, and you see them running into the buildings, that's what they're looking for is this food store. Is that in there? Yeah, okay. So they will actually steal our food now. They they won't go inside these general storage chests, but they will absolutely take food out of the food store. So we have to – that's another thing we have to look out for now. We'll probably be buying food a lot more often because they will steal it when they come and raid us. And let's make that fourth bed since I now have that fourth piece of fabric. Interior bed. We will put the bed right – well, we'll put it right here. One building material, which we will now get out of storage and put in your backpack. All right, four beds. Now, everybody has a bed. Well, four people can lie down at one time. One person will be carrying everyone. I'm not exactly sure what this patrol's doing, but we'll let them do their thing. Now, looking around, everybody is healed. And since there's nothing going on at the moment, we're going to have Griffin lie down to conserve food. Swift is sleeping. Let's take her off of sleeping. We'll put Moo down to conserve food because Swift is going to be working on the whale. And we're down to 286 cats, which means we cannot buy anything, really. Let's see what we got over here. Well, we're definitely going to come loot these guys since they're out in the open. I don't have to worry about the paladins trying to arrest them. Well, there's only one of them, I guess. That's 49 cats more than we had a moment ago. Looks like there's nothing else going on at the moment. Over here, we got something. Well, if we can loot 10 of these bandits, that's 490 cats. It's not a bad turnaround. Problem is finding 10 of them all in one location. All right, we're going to try to run up here. I don't know what's going on. My guess is, oh, I can see it's Swamp Raptor. That'll be good. I always use those pelts to sell. For now, they, they're good income, as you've seen over the last several episodes. Basically, every episode. What was that, four? One, two, three, four. Looks like that's it. Well, since we're right outside the city gates, we'll run in and sell now. From 286, we're up to 1313. Very good. Evil be smited. Who are you smiting? Ah, see? I already picked them up. Too late. That's a small squad of paladins. They don't have any servants with them either. They must have got wiped out already. All right, harvest, 84% away and 65. This is good that, one, they don't come do it at the same time. That gives Swift enough time to harvest one before the other one comes due, hopefully. That way she's not overwhelmed. Right, some more combat over here. Run, Joe, run. Blood splatches, all right. More bandits. Oh, this one is conscious. Well, we'll just knock him down. Where are you going, buddy? Come back here. Our first priority is loot, not fight. Right now, we want to loot these guys while they're down. I thought I saw one over here. 
but could very well have been this plant. I sometimes mistake them for people when I'm catching them at the side. Maybe that's the one I saw right here. We'll loot him and loot this one. Prayer day. All right, got to make sure I'm back for prayer day. Come on, Joe. You got a little damage, but that's not too bad. We need to run back because Joe is the one with the holy flame. So he has to greet the priest for prayer day. Really, anyone with the holy flame can, can greet the priest, but you, you generally want it to be a Greenlander male. In fact, I'm going to have Griffin come over and trade with Joe. I'll give Griffin the book so that Joe can run over here. I just saw some type of combat over here somewhere. And now I can't find it, of course. Do I see any blood splats anywhere? Nope. Well, wasted opportunity. All right, that might be the priest. Just run over here and trade with Griffin. Take the book back. Go say hello to the priest. Show the holy flame. Take his hand. And 12 number ones. And we're good for another week. So if there's any raids coming. Look like Dust Bandit raid in 12 hours. Good thing I checked. Alright, well. We're going to get our butts kicked by Dust Bandits again. Come morning. So let me run over to the bar and sell those few pieces of uh, loot, the clubs that we have. We went from 1313 to 1500. A little better. If we can get... If we can just get at least two grog a day, that'll be about 12, 2400, 2400 a day income just from the grog. Swift is farming like a mad person. What is Swift's skill up to? Farming, 36, pretty good. How far away are the bandits? 10 hours. And we got a little more combat over here. We'll run over here with Joe and see what it is. Generally, it's it's bandits, although I prefer it be animals because their pelts sell for much more. Now it's nighttime, so I can't see where they are. It looks like there's one that just got beat up. Oh, there's it. There we go. Looks like Joe's engaging. All right, let's come over here. Loot that. Loot him. Loot him. And is there one more over here somewhere? I see some blood now that the sun started to come up. Well, I think it's time to head back to the to the farm with this little bit of loot that we have. Get ready to be beat up again by the dust bandits. How many did we get? Four. How much longer? Six hours. I'm going to run in and sell. Well, we'll stop here on the way. Only two. Is this one down here? No, rocks. Okay. Well, every little bit helps since it was on the way already. Where is... Oh, there he is. Let's 
six more sold takes us up to 1800 and I do still recall that I wanted to get there was some nice leather turtlenecks in there for 9,000 a piece oh here we go another 258 it's a bandit is there another one lying down the I will be in just a moment Of course, Joe had to get involved. I didn't tell him to. He just did it on his own. And that's partly because the uh, bandits, at one of the previous episodes, the bandits became hostile to us. So they are, we are attacking them, it, it seems, on sight. Just keep looting, Joe. How long till the raid gets here? Three hours. All right. We're going to run in and sell this. Actually, I've got a better idea. We're going to run back to the farm, head upstairs, and lie down. I want to be fully recuperated, or at least as much as I can be. And of course, just before that time, we have a band of attackers here at, in, at the farm. Swift completed harvesting the one farm. is now starting on the second. Very good. We've got 70. That ought to be enough to make at least two grog, I would imagine. All right, Joe's fully healed. Let's put the S items from his backpack in the storage so they don't weigh him down excessively. Let's see where the bandits are. They're right there. Should be able to see them. Unless they... Sometimes on the way here they get engaged with the Holy Nation Patrol or get into some other kind of mischief. Doesn't look like the case this time. Although there is a... What do we got here? Is this the Steel Bandits? Beasts, I hate. Ah, okay. Looks like we're being attacked by river raptors. Of course, Swift is down and dying, and we haven't even started the fight with the bandits. Boy, this is the way it works. All right. We want to take his backpack off, but we want to put, make sure he has access to the bandages and or any food. Boy, didn't take Sw Swift went down just right off the bat, it seems. All right, being bandaged. Everybody get bandaged and lie down. All right, move. I don't know what you're doing. You're Oh, you're medicking. Lie down. There you go. we got one more raptor coming in, it looks like. Now, I'm going to take this opportunity to loot these raptors because we absolutely need the income. Oh, let me put that backpack back on for the looting. This is not good because we've just gotten beat up and the bandits are just about to arrive. So this is this is not good at all. Is Joe carrying someone? I think Joe is carrying someone. No wonder he's moving so slow. Yeah, he sure is. He's carrying Swift. Alright, don't worry about the bandit. Go put Swift in bed. Now come back. There's the bandit demands. All right, let's take loot this one. Is there one more down there? There's a bandit already been looted. Okay, now Joe, lie down. If you get to it for Griffin, gets there and you couldn't. All right, once again, let's put that loot in there. Put the food down on you so you can act, have access to it. And try to recuperate as much as possible before this bandit raid shows up. <clears throat> which I suspect well, it looks like they're coming this way is that them there nope that's paladins all right guys come on recuperate as much as you can swift is probably our, our weakest fighter 
but Swift is in a coma. As soon as Swift comes out of the coma, I'm going to have her get up and I'm going to have Joe lie down. Okay, because I all right, he did automatically. It's good. And she went right back to harvesting. Because I always, as Joe as the leader, I always want him to be involved in the fight where possible. So I want him to lie down there and recuperate as much as he can. Uh, Joe, Moo, and Griffin, I consider the top three priority when it comes to fighting. Obviously, I want all five of them to be proficient at fighting, but you got to draw the line at some somewhere when you've got work to be done and fighting to be done. All right, Griffin, why are you up? You're not healed all the way. I want you to heal completely before you get up. That leg always concerns me. Limbs are always a concern because they can be chopped off. And I tend to, especially when it comes to legs, I always want them to be healed because if you need to run, you're going to need two good legs. Okay, Griffin, you're healed. Let's put Batai down. Make sure he heals all the way. And Moo just got up, and I want her to lie back down because she also is not healed all the way. Griffin and Swift. All right. How long has she got? She's got 38 hours. All right, Swift, come back up and lie down now, now that we've got an open slot. All right, Moo's completely healed, Griffin's completely healed, and Matthias completely healed. Come on, Joe. All right, did these bandits get involved with... I can't really see. I can't go that far. Griffin, can you run in this direction? I just need to move the camera a little bit. I want to see if the bandits got involved with... These are dust bandits, and they're fighting the paladin. Okay, that might help us. Come back, Griffin. We don't want you to fight them alone. But they're going to take down that paladin because, again, these crossbows are deadly. I got three, at least three crossbowmen. Oh, the paladin's already taken down two of them. Make that three of them. Yes, yes. So if they're still going to come to raid us, it's going to be a diminished force and a damaged force. You know what? This might work to our advantage. Well, obviously it's going to work to our advantage, but what, what is this? Oh, just a hungry bandit. I don't think Griffin will take any damage from him. And he does not, but I can see those starving bandits are coming now. I'm, I'm sorry, the bandits, the dust bandits. But they have been wounded. Two crossbowmen, three crossbowmen. And one, okay, there's only four of them. Now, this is interesting because we'll be able to take four of them, I believe. Well, there's another one, but he's hobbling really badly. How damaged is he? Oh, yeah, his one hit to the stomach and he'll go down. All right, everybody is, with the exception of Swoof, everyone is completely healed. All right, now this is where we take the backpacks off. They're already off. And there's no... All right, she's got six encumbrance, which means we're going to put that backpack in there so that she has no encumbrance. Griffin, no one else has encumbrance. Oh, they're running away? Are they running away? Griffin, engage. Everybody else, engage. Because this is an opportunity to get some good loot. Come on, everybody. Run over there and help Griffin out. All right, Joe, go for this crossbowman back here. Moo, go for this crossbowman over here. Yes, this is this will be some good loot with these guys we can put down. And the guys over here, the paladins put down. Yeah, excellent, excellent. How does it feel, guy, to be outnumbered four, five to one, huh? You don't like that, do you? Come on, Griffin, swing that big blade. Got to hurry up and put him down. Don't want to take a chance these other guys get up and run away.
Look at him dodging. He cannot too close to use his weapon, so he's doing hand to hand. He can't use that crossbow at such close range. All right, this is this is ridiculous. So we're gonna just let them take care of him, and Joe's gonna come over here and loot. Put your backpack back on. Take that big blade. This is worth two forty three. Three fifty six. 93, 89. We're going to take it all. Definitely want to take the 21, 356. Running out of room, of course. But I think there's another little, another little way to handle this. Run back over here. As soon as we're close enough to transfer, we will. Now, another way to handle this, I, th I believe, move, pick up this character, Griffin, pick up this character, Swift, turn off your jobs, pick up this character, Matai, come over here and pick up this character. Okay, now we're carrying them. They cannot run away. We want Moo to run back towards a farm so that she can get her backpack. This also reminds me that I want to... Now, Moo, loot the character you are carrying. We'll get everything off of him, and I see some standard grade something. That's good. Now you can put him down. We don't care about him. And since you're so close to the farm, go ahead and empty your backpack. Yes, that's going to be a nice nice income right there. Come over and loot this character. And what was left on this one? Let's see, how can we make this work? Put that... Hmm, how are we going to make this work? I'm going to put that up there. That's how we're going to do it. All right. Okay, move. Run back. I'm going to buy a larger backpack when I when I get the money. No room. Well, we're going to see if we can fix that. Now we'll put that in there. Yep. Looks like we're out of room. We're going to have to use the other side also temporarily. All right. Joe, where are you at? Let's see if we can loot. All right, he, I'm pretty sure this one's already looted. Yep. All right, but Ty, you can put him down. Joe, loot this one. All right, we will run back, drop that loot off. And you can see the one we dropped off here running away, which is fine. He's got no use to me now. Even if we fought him, we wouldn't get nothing out of it because he's so weak. And injured. And lastly, we'll loot this guy. Just take everything. Now that that should be a pretty good payday. I still want to run over to where those paladins were beating up on those guys and see if there's any more we can pick up. I'm just going to get rid of this food for now because we don't need it. No animals. Well, I didn't need to drop that, but that's okay. We can always get more foul raw meat from the raptors just need to get that helmet in there somewhere there we go all right now these other guys were right around in here they've either gotten up and ran away here's some blood spots oh there's one let's loot him That might be the only one left. You know, for now, we'll put you in there so that we have some storage room. All the rest of them might have already gotten up and ran away. Some more blood. A lot of blood. Oh, there we go. We 
get those boots in there. All right, Lou, come over here and loot him. What are, the, what are the rest of you guys doing? All right, now, that's that's going to be a good payday for us right there. Much better than 49 cats per item. In fact, we're going to have to have everybody go into town. And we'll probably have to make multiple trips because that's so much loot. But before we do that, let's look at this and see. I saw something that was standard. Standard grade boots. Well, we don't want the heavy boots yet, so we'll sell that. If it's a if it's armor or pants, then we will we will keep it and use it. But if it's heavy grade, I'm not interested because these guys don't have the strength to be running around a heavy grade at the moment. Alright, so Batai is full. Swift, what can you carry? Three. Let's see if we can get four in there. Is there another one? There we go. And then for here, well, we can also put a jump bow there in the weapon slot. We'll take two of these. Might be able to squeeze a third one in there and a helmet. Okay, Griffin. That looks like all you're going to be able to carry. And I did drop something on the ground here by accident. There it is, those bolts, toothpick bolts. We'll have him go pick them up. And Moo. Moo might be almost full already. Let's see if we can get two of those. And then, hmm, I wonder, let's try this. Put this down here. That up there. Nope, not going to fit. All right. Will this fit here? No. All right, then, Joe. Joe is full already. Oh, yeah, we are going to have to make more than one trip. Nothing's going to fit. We'll get a couple, at least one. Two boots in there. All right, well, everybody is as full as they can be. So let's run into town. How long do we have left? 30 hours left on that. So it should be okay. It won't take us 30 hours of running into town and sell this. Because we definitely want to get all of that wheat straw harvested. Swift is pretty loaded down. 96, uh, I'm sorry, 76% encumbered. Very slow moving. Oh. Whoo, I thought the game just crashed. Let's take everybody's jobs off because these two fellas, I think, are running to, yep, copper. Let's just get rid of that copper job for now. Then we can put everybody's jobs back on. Come on, Swift. Run, buddy. Even though you're a gal. You're still our buddy. Oh, no. Close, close. What are you doing? What are you doing? Woo, that was close. Did you see those floating numbers? That meant these guys were beating on the door. And the paladins, if they saw them, they would attack them as thieves. That was too close. I got to pay attention. It's nighttime. That store is closed. Wow, that was so close. We could have, the entire squad could have been wiped and are thrown in prison right there. All right, let's see what. This dude's still carrying someone. <laughs> put, put him down. Uh, I don't want to loot him. I want Griffin to put him down. Sorry. All right, Joe, how much money has this guy got? Just sell what we can for now. Look at that, 3,200. Moo, sell what you can. Yeah, 4,200. Very good, 5,000. All right, we're up to 66 or 63, and this bartender's broke, so we're going to head over to this other bar. And uh, was it Griffin? Nope, it was Swift. We left off. All right, Swift. 
sell the rest of your stuff. And Batai. There's a that was fancy. We definitely, as I said, don't want those heavy armor. And I think that's. I think we got enough food. We bought enough food last time. This brings us up to 8,100 cats. I want to make sure that everyone has sold what they had. Yes. All right. Back out we go because I want Swift. Is Swift carrying someone? Yes. Just drop him down. Another reason you're running so slow. Let's just get out. We want Swift to go right back to farming because she needs to get on that grog machine and make more grog so that we can have some some decent upgraded equipment. Got to get those cats. All right, Swift, head right back in the farming. There you go. No one else. Griffin is lying down. All right, everyone else, just Swift and Griffin are damaged. And for now, I'm going to have Moo lie down again to conserve the food. Going to have Batai lay down to conserve food. And I'm even going to have Griffin lie down. Well, he needs to lie down anyway. Joe and Swift are the only two that would be up and about. In fact, I'm going to have Joe go sell some more. I forgot we still have more to sell. All right, how much is this spring bat? 258 and 18. All right, spring bat. Sell as much of this as we can. I'll have Lugo. Shop should be open. So we're, if we can, we'll buy a large backpack. They're ideal for transporting these large pieces of equipment. All right. So Moo and Joe. You guys go sell now that the store should be open. Eight thousand cats. I don't know how much a large backpack is. But if we get how many cats? Eleven thousand. Looking good. And that was Joe. Now let's see what Lou has here. All right, 12,000. Let's run over here to the backpack store. See how much a large backpack sells for. And he doesn't have any. So we're just going to ignore that for now. Although while we're here... I noticed Joe is down to one bandage pack, so we're just going to buy both of those. I could buy another. No, we're fine. We want to save our money to get some. Once we get a larger amount, we really need to armor up our guys. Even if we can't get the katana-type weapons right now, better armor would definitely help. Just take him down and be done with it. He's he's already hurt. All right now, Swift is being attacked by something. It looks like a bandit leader. I don't know where his followers are. Possibly over there getting beat up by paladins. Joe, go ahead and loot him. Where were you guys going? Ah, here's his followers over here. Or at least one of them. Joe, loot him. Well, that's okay when they come at us in ones or twos. That's a lot easier. Although, at this stage of the game, the five of us can definitely beat up some regular starving bandits. We couldn't just a few episodes ago. So that is a, an indication of progress. Be it ever so slight. Come on, man. Jeez, Louise. Let me try someone else. Caught stealing who? 
who was seeing a steal if they're all unconscious? That's one of the problems that one of the things I dislike. They're supposedly all unconscious. Oh, he's playing dead. That's what the deal is. Playing dead. There we go, finally. All right, Moo, run on back. Moo, trade with Joe. Joe's got all the stuff we need to sell. Give him that. All right, Joe is damaged, uh, or injured, so I want you to lie down. Moo, continue your nap. Swift, lie down. Get that stomach taken care of. Ty and Griffin, I want you to lie down, Griffin, just for a moment. If we can get uh, the stomach recuperated a little bit. 155. Now, we may be at the stage where we need to have someone else do the cooking. I'm going to have Batai start cooking this grog. Because we, we need some grog. Got to have some income here. And two farms are possibly too much for her Swift to do all at once now with all the fighting also. All right, Swift repaired, uh, healed. Start back on the farm. One grog. There's 1,100 more. When is our next raid? Four days for the Holy Nation Prayer Day. These guys are completely recuperated. Let's see what we got to take in. Just what's on them. Well, let's go ahead. Well, no, let's wait. Let's wait just a bit to see if I can take two grog with me. Yes, I can already take two grog with me, so let's do that. Run, Joe, run. We're going to try to switch. Once, once we have are able to produce, I don't know, at least four or five grog a day, that will be our income, and I'm not going to worry about looting those, those clubs for 49 cats. All right, we're up to 14, just shy of 15,000. Looking good. Now, we'll still continue to loot the animal hides. Because that's a nice little income. And they stack. Whereas weapons and armor do not stack. So they're hard to get into your backpack when you have a lot of them as you saw just a moment ago. Alright, looks like both farms are producing properly. Uh, the grog is starting to roll in. We've got 183 wheat straw. And that's where we're going to call it quits for now. A little shorter episode. But this is a good stopping point. Everybody's healed. We've got the farm working properly. We've got cats building up. And at the next, perhaps on the next episode, we're going to start a little buying spree. We're going to visit a couple other locations. I want to at least run down to, down to here. Somewhere is the hub. And I believe we'll be able to buy some type of katana katana weapons in that area and that's what i'd like to do so until next time ciao